Direct Contact is a game that I have chosen throughout the last two years to not cover on this channel. And it is just released into early access yesterday. And it has basically shown me exactly why I was right in not talking about this title. Direct Contact is listed as an authentic warfare first person tactical realism experience where most weapons are in the same specs for each classification today, making most modern combat asymmetrical. That's the description of the game, whatever the fuck that means. But as you can see on the store page, it is sitting at mostly negative reviews. And look, throughout the last two years, I have watched a handful of content creators hype this game up to oblivion. And, and while I'm not getting mad at those content creators, um, what I noticed watching all of the gameplay is that it always just kind of looked like shit. But I always understood, like, it's in development. They're building it with their Patreon, which, by the way, they have made a shit ton of money through their Patreon. And I just didn't want to make a video shitting on something that technically wasn't like for sale yet. So I was always under the, the notion of like, I'm going to wait until this game comes out. And <laughs> yeah, it's out now. And uh, holy fucking shit. If you guys want to talk about yet another meltdown in the tactical shooter space, we got one for you, ladies and gentlemen. Yesterday on stream, I was playing the game and yeah, realized that it was just a complete shit show from their uh, completely like basically non-existent UI UX design to their AI, to the way the player controller functions, to their medical system. Everything about this game feels less than half cocked. Like they have this HQ where you spawn in and like you can set up your loadout and do all this stuff, but they don't tell you where anything is in the HQ. You just have to walk around and explore for whatever reason. It's not laid out properly at all. And every time you do ask questions from what I'm seeing, they direct you to go to their Discord to ask questions and get help on how to, you know, figure out how to find a mission or how to customize your character. It's like, well, go to the Discord and ask. Fuck that. The game isn't laid out properly at all. They have a helicopter that you go to to, like, do a mission, but sometimes the helicopter just flies away and then you have to wait for it to come back, which, you know, in, in a co-op or, like, a single-player experience, that just makes no fucking sense. This is fucking bullshit! But as I was playing it on stream the other day, I was notified that the head developer, Dezuza Ed, was absolutely flaming people in his Discord for bringing up criticisms of the game. So naturally, I had to go over and see what the hell was going on. And in that Discord, the head developer is leaving like five minute plus rant voice messages in replies to people criticizing the game. One of the biggest meltdowns that I have seen from one of these tactical shooter indie developers who can't think critically about their own product. And so I just figured I'm going to take the stream footage. By the way, I do stream over on Twitch. If you guys ever want to catch a stream, check out my Discord. The schedule is always posted there. Holy shit. I'm going to take the Twitch VOD. I'm going to chop it up and show you guys what the gameplay is, show you guys the store page. We basically did an early access video live for everybody in a huge extended cut. I'm gonna take that, shorten it down for everybody here because I feel like you guys have to know just how fucking delusional this developer is. If you guys end up liking the video, leave a like on it, subscribe for more content just like this. I mean, I fucking, I hate making this content, but at the same time, dude, I fucking love making this content. My name is Big Fry. Thank you guys for watching. And this, <laughs> this is Direct Contact. Direct Contact is a pre-alpha early access game. By supporting the development of our game, you are helping the future of Direct Con... Oh, nice. Cool. Check out the level system of Direct Contact. Okay. Let's try to open a server. Here we go. Single player. What? What the fuck? I hit single player. I didn't realize that I was just like starting a lot. I don't, I, I hope. Oh God. Okay. So am I just supposed to go out into the forest and kill AI? Got to press F on the heli start mission. Oh wait, what? Let. So wait, I have to press okay on the heli start mission. Where the fuck is that? 
Chopper to start mission. What fucking chopper are you guys talking about? Heli left of you? Heli left you or, or left of me? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, oh, oh. Who's this? Wait. Is this an enemy? Oh. Hello, sir. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, oh shit. So, okay, so there, there's a there's a heli that, a, oh my God. Okay, all right. There's a heli that apparently left me. I don't know what the fuck. Okay, should I just pull back? Let me leave game. Let me just try to join a server. Um, I don't have a gun and I can't, oh, 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 hold on. What the fuck's going on? What happened? What the fuck is going on? What the fuck is happening? Yeah, this must be that in, uh, high tech invisibility um, cloaking system. They, they might be taking, they might be taking inspiration from a future soldier, something like that. I think he broke the game. How did I break the game? I just joined a server. So one thing I noticed in the firing range is that it took a while to load textures in, and I'm wondering if that's what's happening here. It's like the road texture just hasn't loaded in fully. Uh, you know, kind of like my weapon. <laughs> oh, there's a dead guy here. Hey, did you, do you have a gun? Can I pick up? Oh. Oh. So yeah, this thing is just fucked then, isn't it? Positive frag! Yeah, let me just do this. Let's try this. Oh, <laughs> no way. Bro, what is this? <laughs> what is this, dude? Okay, I got a gun this time, so we're making progress. Uh, I just, I don't know what to do. Yeah, my man has a seizure every time he plays that uh, animation. That's crazy, bro. Well, at least his head didn't despawn. That's wild. It's it's surprising that we don't have like a list of objectives here, you know? Uh, press F to select your gear. Character section. Okay. Oh. Squad lead. E, enlisting. Grenadier. Okay. Marksman. JTAC. What is happening? I don't think that did anything. Enter firearm customization. Oh, great angle for fuck's sakes. Okay. <laughs> this is brutal. Is that an enemy? I think that is an enemy. What is going on? What the fuck am I looking at, dude? Why is my gun swaying like this? Okay, when I aim like this, but I guess if you're being suppressed, it's like significant. Man, I feel bad for everybody who backed this on Patreon. Is this gonna like unsway or? No, this is actually like impossible to play. This is fucking terrible. Yeah, even a low stance, my stamina is full right now, according to that corner. And look at this. Look at this. What is this? And I'm noticing that my stamina doesn't go down when I aim. Hold on. Let me blow this. Ah, my stamina is going up. But my aim is like significantly getting worse every time. Oh, the hell was that? I didn't, what the, what the fuck happened? Wait, where are these guys going? Hold on, hold on chat. What, what's going on? I can't believe they put this out. Bro, how much money were these guys making on Patreon? Okay, can I tell you guys a secret? Why is they blowing up? Wait, do they just have explosive vests? Is this a zombie survival game now? Oh, they actually do just blow up. Um, can I be honest with you guys? I've never covered direct contact because I thought it kind of looked like dog shit. 
And like, it was early, right? So I, I wasn't gonna go out there. I saw a lot of YouTubers like talking good things about it. Um, and I was like, I'll be honest, dude, the community seems very excited. It's it. I think they're in like the top 100 wish list. People are pumped. I'm not, I'm, I, I just felt like I was just gonna wait. And then when I heard it came out today, I was like, okay, well, this is a perfect opportunity to like try it out. I genuine, I genuinely did not expect it to be this bad. What the fuck is this? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Base pose offset? Third person work in pro, what is this? Oh, dude, this is like not even tech demo. Save poses, kick close. Holy shit, jowly fuck, chat. Emotional damage. So this doesn't do anything. Me hitting enlisting. I hear, I hear a bing, I, I hear a ding. Well, what the fuck does that even mean? You can't change the kits at the MRAP. Then why is the option there too? So we have to leave game to change kit? This is absolutely fucked. Press O, I think. Why don't, I tell you guys what, why don't I do that piano thing when it goes Let's just do that across the keyboard and figure out what button it is. I take it no real tutorial. There's no tutorial at all. Been helping with the testing of this game? Brother, so you, I have you to blame. This is fucking brutal, man. Okay, chat, I'm gonna look forward. Where the fuck do I have to go? Where am I going? Let, turn right, okay. This, oh, here we go. This is Twitch Plays Direct Contact now. This building here, 3rd Infantry Division Realism Unit, okay. Is it you? You're the quartermaster. Oh my God, we fucking made it, chat. I never thought I would see this day. Holy shit. All right, medical, oh, I think I bought them. I, I yeah, my money is going down, so I think I did. Uh, Painkillers, I'm gonna buy 20 of those. You need a lot of fucking painkillers out of here. This game reminds me of transients. Dude, thank you so much, man. Appreciate you. Suck my dick. Dude, why am I so much shorter than these guys? This guy's like fucking Andre the Giant, dude. I could suck his dick standing up. You know what I mean? This is fucking insane. All right, so you do nothing. Oh, here we go. So there's an end wrap here to, sele okay. So select your gear, character section. You can scroll over, get different hand guards. That's cool. FPS, uh, okay, so uh, right now I'm sitting at 43 FPS. Uh, yeah, we drop, oh God, yeah, we dropped to 30. Come out of a, uh, ADS, yeah, 44, 43. Yeah, we're getting significant drops with scopes. Oh yeah, yeah, you can feel it. This is gonna be a disaster, but we're gonna run it anyway. There's a lot more things I think we could nitpick at this at this point in time. Like the fact that my helicopter's gone and I can't do missions now. Just wait, it will come. Where's, why would it leave though? This is fucking bullshit. Where did the helicopter even go to? Welcome back, bitch. All right, here we go. I thought that I wasn't gonna spawn in with a gun again, chat. Okay. What? Already? Dude, this is fucking god awful. Like, I'm just, I'm over it already, to be honest with you. This is just shooting at robots again for the 1500th fucking time in a row. That's all this game is. Just shooting at robots from a distance who have no fucking life to them at all. Besides, they can see you from a mile away. Shit. Okay, so I'm damaged. So right leg, let's go vital heal kit. My right leg and go. Do I have to like, how do I use it? Right leg, quick, quick aid. Bandage, right leg. Okay. Okay. Wow. Anybody in here? No? Okay. Sure about that? I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I'm, I'm, I'm about five seconds away from just alt F4ing, if I'm being honest. 
just fucking kill me. Just take me the fuck out. <clears throat> An army medical bag. Press F. It does nothing. Oh, you guys shoot me from all the way out here. There's no effects for healing. Like, there's no indication that I've been healed. Like, out. Like, fuck me, man. This is barely a video game. Bandage, right arm. Do it. Oh, fuck him, head. Okay, let's bandage body. Oh, fuck him, head. <laughs> oh, fuck him, hit. Oh, fuck him, hit. As if they didn't just create, like, a thing where I could just drag over this and apply the heal. Dude, I'm, I'm watching my bullet trails go through this guy. Oh, he's finally dead. Maybe because he... And then there's just another one. Does that... Is this thing just spawning guys out of it? I have no idea where I'm getting shot from. This is ass. This is this is just not fun. Oh my god. Nice. Oh fuck, I'm hit. Okay, how badly do you guys think I'm fucked up right now? Oh god, yeah. I'm I'm kind of just I'm kinda of over it, if I'm being honest. Just send me back to base. What is going on? What the fuck is happening? Am I losing health? Let's see. No! Am I even- I'm not even getting shot! <laughs> oh, motherfucker! Like, okay. There have to be some positives, all right? If I were to give this game any sort of positivity, and again, it goes back to exactly what I said about Incursion Red River. These guys have, on, honestly, these guys don't even really have a great player controller. It's pretty janky. But you can customize your weapons. That's very cool. Um, uh, the environments are pretty big. But yeah, dude, Incursion was more playable than this. It, it, just to put it into perspective, I would bet on incursion success over this in both their current states. And that's wild, because I don't see incursion making waves. At all. Yo, what's up, dude? You got a microphone or what? I don't even know if voice chat works in the game, guys. There's three keys to get VoIP working in a team-based co-op fucking tactical shooter. What are we doing? Their Discord says no VoIP even though it's advertised. There's so there's no VoIP. Let's have a fucking look, chat. Mostly negative reviews, 81. Before we get into that, uh, I want to go look down here. How much time do we put into it? 1.4 hours, and I barely... Uh, I mean, that was unfucking really real to be honest with you, dude. Uh, yo, our farmer, thank you for that resub, brother. Welcome back to the show. All right. Let's have a little look-see. Direct Contact will have the community involved as the game is in development. Direct Contact is planning for the best mill sim it can be. Approximately how long will the game be in early access? Direct Contact will be in development for 12 months. <laughs> 12 months and beyond. Direct Contact is planning for the best... Wait, how is the full version planned to differ from the early access version? 
Direct Contact is planning for the best military simulation it can be. Military Arena. It is a world for you as the player to have a tactical advantage in this tactical game. What is what does that even mean? Drivable cars, helicopters, and simulations of PMC-style scenarios for you to test out your skills. What's going to be in the final game is the actual question. What's the current state of the early access version? You can read about features listed in the About This Game. Dude, I'm so sick of people like this guy. Pre-alpha means way early in development. If you're, ex if you're expecting anything close to a complete and finished game, then yes, don't buy it. Dude, we don't expect perfection. We don't. We never have. We are not sitting here saying that we expect this game to be completed and like fully out there. I can't fucking stand people who sit there and they it's just black and white. It's either good or it's fucked. No, there is a lot of nuance with this shit. There is nothing in that game that has been even like half ass developed. Everything is so primitive. The UI is trash. The gameplay is stiff. The AI is broken. The gunplay, even the customization, the fact that I had to ask chat where the fuck to go to actually find where custom- There's no tutorial. There's no accessibility options. The fucking helicopter flies away on a mission and you don't even know where to start your mission. Everything about it is fucked. Coping supporter, I guarantee it. I can guarantee it, dude. I'm not asking for 100% completion. I am asking for like, at bare minimum, dude, give me a 50% completed product so we can at least see the vision. There is no way you can look at this and be like, dude, I, I dude, in 12 months, these guys are going to fucking kill it. I see it. No, no. The tutorials are in their discord. Check discord. Wait, I kid you not, their tutorial, I'm not checking a di- No, 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 no. That is not a tutorial. I'm not going to Discord to learn how to play your fucking game. Welcome to game development. Wait, what? Someone roasted them on Discord and their main dev responded with a voice message and holy shit, he goes off. Oh, dude, I gotta hear this. Where's their Discord? My two cents. Okay, what did this guy say? We all know it takes money to develop games, not to mention all the long nights. I get it. All right, let me see this. Well, the goal is an indie game developer okay. can drop a game that is on 10% for $70 because sleepless nights, keeping up family, keeping up... Do, do, do really people think that an indie game studio has a lot of potential with money and stuff? No, they don't. I understand you, brother. If it was a risky move or whatever, at the end, I think... Direct contact with the price that is and moving forward is a small piece of the cake to ask. A small piece of the cake to ask. Delusional, dude. Absolutely fucking delusional. Right? I think our chance to develop, to get maybe hired somebody and stuff like that, if people buy in and support, is a much bigger chance to create something then putting shit out for free. Yeah, but what these devs... Oh, God. <laughs> this has turned into a stream, chat. What these fucking developers don't realize is that it shouldn't be on us to take a chance on you based on nothing. If you want us to really take a chance on you, give us something that's worth our fucking time. Give us something that shows that you have the potential to take this to the finish line. That The, the game I just spent an hour and a half playing is not worth anybody's time right now. Let alone at $20. Let it, dude, I'm t if I played that for free today, I would still just be like, okay, cool. Like, dude. And But then you say like a $20 price tag is a small p price to ask? Get fucked, dude. Listen, I will quote again and I will say this. That when the fantastic groups from, I don't know, the day before, created this all-out toxic shit. If the internet breaks Dari contact, I would just sit back and I would like, okay, cool, I will stream my game on my YouTube channel. I will have fun with my daughter. I don't give a fuck. Listen, the next guy who wants to create something for you guys, you know what I mean, for the communities, and open up a Discord, let's create a technical shit, he will say, no, no, I'm not doing this. Okay. Holy shit. Where he's coming from is the fact that, yes, there are a lot of toxic gamers out there. There is, straight up. 
There are guys who will comment and do things to tear you down just because they want to see your day ruined. Totally get it. 100%. That's not what's happening here. What's happening here is a lot of people bought into the, this idea on your Patreon, early access, you know, or, or I should say early in development as you worked through it, right? And then you put the game out in early access for $20 when the game isn't worth even close to that. And that's it. You release the game too early, like a hundred million other indie developers always fucking do. The people who backed this to see this through to the finish line, a, a big, a big red flag just went up in their head that the developer that they've been supporting felt like he needed more money. So he put it out for $20 a pop and is just adamantly defending it here. That's a red flag for anybody, dude. Because if you're a developer that we're putting our money towards, we want you to have at least the thought process of like, maybe it's not worth it to put it out yet. Maybe it's not worth it to charge people. I don't fucking get it. He will go back to his nine to five job because he won't give up his job because of this fucking toxic bullshit that is going on in the internet. Yeah, your game sucks. That's just really what it comes down to. Like, uh, you know, like there's really not like there's nothing else to it, dude. And I'm going to be the first one to say this. This void, void, or, or this new, new era that people think they can say whatever the fuck they want. You can. Oh no, this is this. Blah blah blah. Nobody's supporting each other anymore. Why do we? Why do you feel entitled enough that you have to have support? You haven't earned it. And and actually, on top of that. You were making like five to 10 grand a month on Patreon. You have all the support you fucking, you had more money coming at you than 99% of indie devs. Shut the fuck up. And then you put the game out in a state that nobody likes. Like why, what do you think's gonna happen? You look over to your neighbor and you have fucking jealous because he has a car. You know what I mean? What? How do you know how many hours this guy have worked to get this fucking car? Listen, what? we are not living in the fucking fantasy world here, okay? You are? Nothing is fucking free. People work their ass off to just to get back home, to play two hours before they go to work. And if the internet is gonna break the content, no, this is shit, this is shit, let them. They will just say more about where we are heading because in Ukraine, Russia is killing kids. Bombing fucking people. Holy fuck. If you this dude's drunker than fuck, I'm telling you right now. You can take your time off and play a game that you pay fifteen dollars for to get out of way from all the bullshit that is happening in the world, and then you go and bash it because you can't change the fucking key bind. Please leave the Discord. I don't even want to oh fucking God. see them in my Discord. Oh yeah, he's freaking out. I don't out. want none of them around me, my daughter, my friends, my- Chat, can somebody- <laughs> This is amazing. Can somebody go in and download this audio for me, please, or record it? My family, they ain't shit under my fucking feet. Oh, he's freaking out. You understand what I mean? So, let them talk. Right? But put the balls, go down to Ukraine or do something. Help people out. You know what? When we started this. Dude, this, this whole thing reeks of entitlement. Reeks of entitlement. This is actually insane. Discord for Dark Conte, we was giving donation every fucking month from every Patreon money that we got. Yeah. To fucking support the Ukraine for for the kids to get something to fucking drink in what? the fucking tunnels while the fucking bombs was dropping what who of those motherfuckers have ever gave one cent or one dollar to help anybody but what the fuck is he talking about Wh holy shit <laughs> fucking sell because they asked for refund because they couldn't even spend their 15 
dollars on a game that could change some other man's life. So no, the game is not free. Your two cent opinion is good. It's not for me. You understand what I mean? It should be. We have done so much the community. I gave away a 3060 graphic card wow. to one of the members. I have Who gives a shit? I've given away hundreds of dollars, thousands wow. of dollars thousands. for charity to the war in Ukraine. Nobody asked you to do that. And if you're actually sitting here saying that you took Patreon money and put it towards the war, maybe that's why the game is in the state that it's in. You fucking idiot. Think about what you're saying. Idiot. Total fucking idiot. In all the war-torn countries. Who cares? So no, I'm not going to sit here and just like, oh, yeah, no, the game is shit. Fuck off. Move on. If my, if my community, my team, ban people because they are toxic, good. I don't want no toxic people around me. Buddy, you're the toxic one. <laughs> this is my fucking house. Ooh. This is my living room. Take off the shoes, people, before going in. Bro, he sounds like he just went from, like, fucking Zelensky to Scarface. This is my fucking house, huh? Cavron, we smuggle cocaine into Miami. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Right? Do you know how many hours I spent a day doing this? Listen, Who? at the end... I know, dude. You know what? Game dev sucks. You're the one that asked for it. Like, you went and did it, dude. Like, it's not... it. Like, no one asked you to fucking be a game dev, dude. I will sit back and I will join my own game. <laughs> With Blackjack. still on Steam and people will still buy it and they will still play it. Because the game is fucking sick. It's not. It's actually terrible. Where do you go and call in a 810 and blow the shit out of a BTR? Chat, where do you go to have to fucking look around a base so you could do a running test? You know, who would have thought? Yeah, bro's, bro's drunk. I feel bad. I don't actually fuck this guy. Or calling an air support from a fucking F-18 or even do a M72 long. On the indie game on Unreal Engine 5. <laughs> I fucking can't, dude. <laughs> so, no, the game is not free. No. The game is $15. I worked the ass out just to get that shit to what it is now. And we have a long way to go. But those people that give negative reviews, yeah. in my eyes, can just fuck off. Okay. I don't care about them. Okay. I will stream later on. Cool. I'm going to be and there. YouTube will fucking pay me for the revenue. Holy shit, dude. All right, hold on. I'm going to pull up this DM. Apparently, there was a more unhinged one. Is the game worth investing in? I've been seeing all these negative reviews and don't know why people are negative. The game looks fun. All right, let's watch this. <laughs> this is fun as fuck, chat. Hey, brother. I see it, and I have read it. I will have to say one thing, and I will be brutally honest with everyone in here in okay. the general chat. Okay. And I will say this for the bottom of my heart. I don't even give up. Fuck about those comments. At the end, this game is for people that want something different. They can go back and play fucking Call of Duty if they want to. This is a game that, that will give you guys something different. If you want to play complete experiences that are actually fun and well put together, you can go play all those other games. If you want to play something that's actually dog shit with a terrible UI and not a lot of features that barely work, dude, direct contact is for you. You understand what I mean? I created this game because I was tired of seeing all this fucking cinematic shit. <laughs> that it's all over the fucking internet. <laughs> then you have the fucking fantastic boys from China or wherever they are from create some fucking cinematic shit. And the whole fucking world loves them. Oh, man. This dude is reeling. I can't fucking believe this is happening. <laughs> I love it. I have only shared raw footage. I haven't paid one fucking youtuber and i will be brutally honest when i'm saying this okay we have had millions of fucking views worldwide okay is the game a triple a no 
Is the worst playing? Yes. It is not. Like, here's the thing, buddy. People disagree with you. It's not worth playing. Nobody thinks that who has played the fucking game. Shut up. At the end, I will sit there with my daughter. She's seven years old. She cool. looks up to me. Great. She's, Dad, let's play some game. And I will sit there and I will play it by myself with my daughter and my friends. And I will enjoy it. If you want to get in and play with us or have just some fun, do it. Okay. If you are a Call of Duty player, brother, it's nothing I can help you with. Wow. Right? This is not that type of game. Call of Duty is a better experience, like full stop in every aspect from the main menu to the ending credits. Call of Duty is a better game. And I, I, you're the one making the comparisons, not me. I don't know why you keep bringing up Call of Duty. I don't understand it. Like the UI in COD is so bad, but it's still better than yours. If you really want to make the comparison, the UI in Call of Duty is some of the worst in the industry and it's better than yours. This is a slow game. Yes, it is a bugs. It's a game breaking bugs. No. Yes, it is, dude. I spawned in without a gun in my first mission. What are you even fucking talking about? Shut up. Can you have fun with it? Do you need two hours before you go to bed to wake up six o'clock in the morning to go back to your fucking five to six or five to eight? You know what I mean? What? Work? Yes, this is exactly the game for you. Do you What's he talking about? <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> this, is, this is insane. You need to ask somebody permission to play the game. Your vibe, go and do it. Because two hours before you go to bed, you will have a good time because he keeps mentioning that like, so his sales pitch is that you can get a little bit of fun before and after work. You wouldn't want to play this game all day though, is basically what he's telling you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Holy shit, dude. You do not have those toxic people in Call of Duty calling you shitty name after a match. Yeah, you're never going to hear people yelling slurs at you because the voice over IP doesn't work. <laughs> You can't make this shit up, dude. You know what I mean? And it's only... The guy haven't even been in a game. He he has been like five minutes and then gives a reward. You know, in the headquarters, you can clean the toilet. The guys who gave the review haven't even cleaned the fucking toilet. Who gives a fuck about any of that? Who cares? You can clean the toilet. Wow! Are you gonna find a copy of Direct Contact in there? What type of fucking military man are you if you can't clean up after you fucking sell? Shut up! Go into the headquarters, do the running course, do the fucking sanitary job. I couldn't even do the running test. I kept hitting F on the guy and nothing happened. Shut up! Um, go and get your gear. Gear up. Go to Norway. Go to use East Ukraine. Go to Afghan map. Have some great time. Kill some Russian, kill some Taliban, kill some American in the house mission. Go back into the headquarters, deliver your fives to the quartermaster, to the inventory. Oh, chat, this must have been the tutorial we were talking about. That's right. Yeah, you guys said there were tutorials in Discord. Now I'm getting it. Do it again. Go back in. Shoot. Kill somebody. Go to bed. Go to work. That's it. That's what we all do. He's drunk as we fuck. We all work. Everybody has a work. Have we time to be playing armor for eight years? Like Whoa. eight hours? Armor's been here for fucking ten years. Eight years, maybe? Yeah, there's or a reason. More? There's a reason. Listen, I don't have time. I'm 42 years old. Okay. I don't have time to be fucking sitting in armor these days because I have there... to take care of my kids. Why did you make me wait fucking 15 minutes for a helicopter then? Huh? This guy is absolutely fucked in the head. This is fucking crazy, chat. Holy shit, man. You've got to be the most delusional fucking guy I've ever heard in the indie space. Okay, just editing Big Fry here just to give some context because I don't want to edit the rest of this fucking VOD. I went to go play American Truck Simulator right after I put that message out. I was banned from the Discord, and then the developer proceeded to talk shit. And of course, like, I have people in my community that are in the Discord, and they started sending me the recordings of what this fucking guy was saying directly about me. Enjoy. What do you mean about big pussy move bad in FIFA? 
Big Fly banned himself from everything. Do you think Big Fly is a cool guy? He's not a fucking cool guy. He's a toxic guy. Do you, do you really think I want to have Big Fry hanging around? Like, yo, Big Fry, what's up? No, fuck Big Fry. Bro, you, I literally have DMs from you from 2019, 2020, 2021, and 2022 where you were asking me if I was interested in covering the trailers. Shut up. Just shut up. He's not my friend. You know what I mean? Listen, Big Fry have never been nobody's friend. Damn, dude. <sighs> Shit, he's going to make me do it. Hey, fuck this asshole, huh? Let's have a look. Good day. My name is Erring, and I'm from Norway. This was in 2019. I've been following you on YouTube for some time now. And after your latest video last night, I finally talked to you about it. I'm making a tactical shooter and having to do a little bit of it. It's called Hostile Takeover. Blah, 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 blah. Who gives a fuck? Never even responded to him. Uh, a month later. Hi, man. So I was wondering if you do games in development. It's like, all right, hey, didn't see your first message. Yeah, I cover games in development. I'm a solo game developer. Blah, 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 blah. Send me an email. Sure. Hostile takeover. He's sending me some information. The game's early. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Follows up, uh, what, uh, seven days later, whatever. Don't care. Hi, my man. How are you? So I was wondering if I can put, oh, uh, don't care. Hostile takeover, don't care. All his messages, don't care. Like, you want to talk shit about how you don't... Why are you fucking begging me for coverage in Discord for years on end? When did you see a video from Big Fry talking good about somebody? Look at my last, like... Look at, just look at the videos in the last month. He gets money from talking shit about other people. Okay. This is this is proven years after years. Why, why are you reaching out for coverage then? If you were a fan, like, shut up. He talks shit about people so he can get his revenue. Okay. There's nothing toxic to ban Big Fun. Big Fun banned himself from everything. Yeah, I banned myself from everything. What an idiot, dude. The dev did another voice message. Do I have to pull over and listen to this one? Is this one good? So let us be honest, guys, right? So bringing up Ukraine. Yes, I am from Norway. Russia is in my border. I was in the army when I was younger. Okay. I've seen the Russian soldiers, right? And I have absolute big respect for a lot of Russian soldiers, the special forces, okay. the Ukraine forces. Okay. But at the end, we here in direct contact send money to people that were sitting in the undergrounds, that was fleeing. It's not much, but we did it. Okay, so the developer has sent Patreon money to um, people affected by the war. Right. So then a guy comes in and say, oh, you're delusional, you this, or Big Fry, or whatever. Yeah. Sorry to say it. Where have you been, Big Fry? Why didn't you help us out? Or You wouldn't give me access to the game. And that's that's straight up. He wouldn't give me access to the game. Uh, we'll, we'll keep listening, but... Get some shit over here, right? At the beginning. Yeah. People have never been a guy who have talked good to any in the games. He's I've been following him for years. I haven't seen one video where he support. He just run around, try to run out the corners of the, the, the maps to see if the people have put up boundaries, blocking so you don't fall off the map. This is the type of guy yeah. who have been toxic for years. Okay. Why do we here in Dark Contact, we have a community that we pay on Patreon. And we've been supporting people in Ukraine, war-torn countries. We sent money to Africa. We sent money to Libya. And Did you send money to contractors to work on your game? Because that would have been like probably the best use of your money. It's not much. Maybe 200 here, 300 there. But okay. we still did have our part. And then people come in. And then they're like, yo, uh, uh, five minutes. No, the game is shit. And they haven't even bother to check out the headquarters or ask in the chat how do i go to the mission yeah dude we have to go to your discord to find out how to play your game you're a terrible developer like maybe maybe that's maybe that's part of it man like you're you're admitting to it you spent you spent money on whatever in the war and we have to go to your discord to find out how to actually play your game shut the fuck up you know what i mean i'm not i'm not sitting here and saying that i'm disappointed of those people i'm just saying they yeah, are a piece are. of shit because for me 
sleepless night working hard to have people come in with what all the what we have done the last two years to come in and say that oh they gave me shit it is like it is there's there's just like i don't know man yeah, maybe the game is shit for you, but for not other people, maybe the game is. Well, that's the great thing about opinions, dude. It's not. And this is the point I tried to point out. We are not only making a game. We have to have community. They've been giving donation. Yes. To give to Ukraine when the war started. So he's literally just telling you guys that he's taking your money from Patreon and sending it to people affected by the war. And not spending it on the game. To give water to the kids. There is nothing bad to bring that up. Because I'm proud of being able to have a community to give money to help other in need. Begs me for content in private. Says all I do is shit talk indie games in public. Okay. That dude's fucking delusional. If you guys made it this far in the video, thank you. I know it's a long one, but I didn't want to cut out any context with any of the rants that he was putting out in his Discord. Now, since this stream happened and this guy went off his fucking rocker in a drunken rant, a couple drunken rants, they have since put out a statement where they apologize for everything and they're basically just hunkering down. And if you want to provide any criticism, you now have to fill out a form or risk being banned from either their Discord or their community hub. In my opinion, Avoid this game at all costs. Avoid this developer at all costs because this is somebody who, in my opinion, was given the golden goose. He had a Patreon with a bunch of people who were excited for the project, giving him upwards of five to $10,000 a month. Solo developer working on a video game, you couldn't ask for a better position to be in. And you opted to put this game out for unknown reasons because you know it's shit. You know it's not in a good state. You know that it's barely a functioning prototype video game. And you decided to put it out anyway. You spit in the face of everybody who supported you because you didn't have the foresight to think about the repercussions of your actions. This game shouldn't have gone out. You had no reason to put it out because you were already financially secure on Patreon. It's not like these other tactical shooters where they run out of money, like we, we covered Incursion Red River. They're running out of money. They wanted to put the game out to try to, you know, Hail Mary attempt to get some funds to continue development. You had it coming in on Patreon every month. This game didn't need to go out. Everybody was still psyched to be supporting you. And you just shit on everybody. And then on top of that, when people outside of your fucking echo chamber now bring in criticism and tell you about the issues in the game, you don't want to hear it because of Ukraine. I don't fucking get it. But this is yet another chip on the tactical shooter indie space that, in my opinion, is just being inundated with people who don't know what the fuck they're doing. And it's funny, in his rants, he brings up the day before saying that what they did was created this toxic landscape, which I will say I do agree with them. But don't think for a second that what you just did and what you are currently doing is not contributing to the same toxic landscape. People lost trust when the day before came out and was a clear scam. People are gonna look at this and lose trust in other developers who might have a Patreon or a Kickstarter or some sort of crowdfunding or support incentive because they're just gonna look at this and be like, well, shit, man, the day before was a scam. Dead Matter was a scam. Direct Contact was a scam. And just to make sure the message isn't lost, I don't think Direct Contact is a scam, I just think it's a really shit fucking video game. But best believe, people will never forget what you just did. And I don't, I just, for, for, this is one of those times where I just can't understand why he did what he did. You had the money coming in, you were a solo developer, you were working on it, you had YouTubers behind you who were willing to wait and ride this shit out till the end, and you just literally fucked your reputation in less than 24 hours. This one's an absolute anomaly to me. If you guys are wondering if you should play direct contact, don't. And, and honestly, who knows what's going to happen a year from now? This guy might fucking pull it off. I don't know. I have zero faith in him. Don't get me wrong. And I'll be honest, I never did. 
but a lot of you guys did. A lot of you supported the Patreon. If you are supporting the Patreon, I would suggest looking at the current state of the game. Look at how that developer just treated criticism, raw, pure, honest criticism from the community, and see how he looks at you. Because what I pulled from his rants is that he is entitled. He cares a lot more about money than he probably puts on in public. His, his notion that he's going to stream the game and get paid from the YouTube ad revenue. And then he looks at me and fucking roasts me for what? Criticizing people and getting paid for it. Guys, I, I'm blessed. I, I made a channel criticizing games just like this and criticizing people just like this. And you guys support it. You guys watch the videos and YouTube pays me ad money. Absolutely. fucking lootly But don't get it twisted. In this scenario, you're the toxic one. Because I didn't even cover the game. I never roasted the game. I never put my opinions out there about the game. I never put you on blast. Matter of fact, this is probably one of the times where you could look at what I did and say, hey, that was probably pretty fair. I wanted to wait. And, and look what happens, man. I wait until the game comes out and you can actually put money towards it. Not in a crowdfunding setting, but it's on Steam. I waited years. Gave my thoughts and, and toxic, bro. Fuck off. My name is Big Fry. Thank you guys for watching. There's really not much else to be said. Avoid this fucking game at all costs. And maybe think twice about putting your money towards projects like this when you don't truly know the intentions or the mindset of the developer. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like on the video. I know it was a long one. I apologize. But let's wrap it up here. My name is Big Fry. And I'll see you on the next one.